Good morning everybody and you're very welcome back to the channel. So this is part three in our Made in Ireland series. Anyone that hasn't seen part one uh, was shot a couple of months ago, probably four months ago now at this stage, um, and that was Ireland's top 10 farm machinery manufacturers. Part two was Northern Ireland's top 10 farm machinery manufacturers. But there's all the companies I left out uh, that I felt bad. So I felt like, you know, I could make four or five or six series of this top 10s. So we're going over it again. We have another top 10 uh, farm machinery uh, manufacturers for Ireland. This is part three. Part four will be dealing with the UK, mainland UK, uh, England, Scotland and Wales. And that will be coming up in a few weeks time. Um, so I'm going to start off by saying thank you so much to everybody who watched the Muir Hill video last week. It was a very, very popular video. Loads of great comments. Uh, there's a lot more of them in Ireland than I had actually uh, expected or thought there was. Um, now, I had only ever seen one or two around Ireland. Um, there was one at home that I had mentioned. and then, But there are have been a lot, it seems, around the country. Um, and it was great to everyone that got in touch uh, with their experiences. And it was 99.999% positive for them. Um, yeah, a fantastic machine. Thanks to everybody for watching. Um, the weather this weekend, my God, like, what are we going to do with the weather? It's absolute muck. Um, yeah, storm, Kathleen, whatever it is on the way at this stage. Uh, there's potatoes on the ground that have to be harvested. Hundreds of acres of potatoes that have yet to be harvested. And there's hundreds of acres that have to be planted. Some of them are planting and they still have potatoes to harvest. So that's a really, really feel for anyone that's in that situation. It's a tough, tough year and it doesn't seem like it's going to let up anytime soon. There's cattle that needs to go out and land. But look, it's waterlogged. It can't. What can you do? Look, we just have to pray and hope that, you know, things lift. Uh, but anyway, here we are. Uh, so it is a wet weekend. Hopefully you're sitting in nice and dry watching uh, watching these videos. It's Sunday morning now at half ten uh, when this is going out live. Whenever you're watching it, thanks for watching. Um, so we're going to start off in the north of Ireland with a company called uh, Herbst. So Herbst um, are in Oma in County Tyrone and they were established in 1983 by Mr. Noel Good and they produce uh, equipment for obviously the agri sector, also construction and the recycling uh, sectors. Uh, very, very popular and well-known company in the north of Ireland and indeed throughout the world. Um, a very, very popular company. So this company actually started in 1983 from an, actually from an old car garage. Uh, the first product that they manufactured was a uh, hydraulic uh, power box, so a tipping hydraulic um, uh, power box, they called it. Um, 1984, I think they moved around that time, they moved to a bigger premises. They made their first low loader uh, in 1984. Moving on to 1985, then they got into making track systems for tractors for bogs. So half tracks and tracks uh, for, for tractors for bogs. Um, for low ground low, low ground pressure to be able to, to drive on, on the soft ground. Uh, since then, they were, they've went on, obviously, to make uh, things like shear grabs, uh, dump trailers, peak cutters, um, track cr crushers, screeners, stone carts, drop side trailers, bale trailers. So they're, they're heavily involved in the recycling sectors as well and the construction sectors. And uh, yeah, fantastic company, employing a lot of people up in Oma and County Tyrone. Um, so that is Herbst. So moving on then down to Kerry and a company that I don't really know a whole lot about. Um, I don't know if I've ever used or uh, you know, done anything with any of their equipment is a company called uh, Scully Trailers. So Scully Trailers uh, was established uh, it's in Kilorglin, Kilorglin and Kerry, I believe, yeah. Um, and they make they make bespoke trailers. So Niall and Shane, Shane Scully, I think they're brothers, yeah, two brothers that run this company. Um, have a wide range of quality trailers, bespoke uh, quality, really, really good looking stuff. Um, so, you know, bale trailers, cattle trailers, uh, folding bale handlers, actually, it was a nice looking uh, product that they seen. Uh, interesting that, you know, when it's on the back of the tractor and you don't have a bale or anything on it, that the arms fold up out of the way, which, you know, from a safety point of view and that, and even for putting into a shed and that, I assume it'll sit down on the ground with the, with the, um, with it folded fo into the folded position. Um, very, very tidy looking machine. Um, bale spikes and then bale handlers so elephant trunk handlers and soft bale handlers and stuff like that um for your wrap silage and that yeah yeah a good looking company fantastic looking company um i will actually look more into them because i i, I know very little about them uh but yeah nice looking products so that's scully um scully trailers 
down in Calorglan in the kingdom. Um, so moving on then uh, to County Mayo, um, not too far from where I am in Ballyhonas, a uh, company called AgriSpread, so family-owned company in business since 2006. And what they do is they specialize in making uh, fertilizer spreaders. Uh, manure spreaders, lime spreaders, cement, sand, salt, and bulk products, uh, you know, equipment for, for spreading, you know, all your fertilizers and salt and stuff like that, uh, on, on the back of counts on trucks and stuff like that, uh, grit, um, so anything, anything like that, um, that's what these guys, uh, these, these guys specialize in, um, I have seen a lot of the products around at different shows. I've never used any of them or worked on any of them, but yeah, very, very uh, highly high quality, uh, fantastic looking equipment. Um, of course, being Irish built, it'd have to be. Um, so yeah, they export to Australia, New Zealand, uh, Canada, the USA, um, South Africa, the UK, the Netherlands, Russia, uh, we can't forget the Russians, and Spain. Um, they also have truck mounted spreaders uh built onto a, ch a truck chassis chassis mounted and they also have uh their wind boom system that they use for spreading lime it's a wind boom 2000 series i think it's called uh for spreading lime in windy conditions so anyone that's seen uh lime being spread in a little bit of wind not only is the ground white but the tractor's white the ditch is white and your neighbor's field is white and you've got lime going everywhere but the wind boom system seems to you know reduce a lot of that and it leaves it more favorable for spreading lime in such conditions. So that is Agri Spread down in Ballyhonas, a good family owned company not far from where I am here in Galway. Um, moving on then to um, Belmac. So Belmac Engineering is in County Offaly. Yeah, County Offaly, and they were set up in 1987 by Michael Gavin, uh, and they started out with grass toppers. Oh yeah, look, they went on then to make made a wide range of, of equipment. Uh, so toppers, side spreaders, slurry spreaders, uh, agitators, post drivers, uh, swart welters, uh, trailing systems, obviously, for your slurry tankers, zero grazers. Um, and I've got a network of dealers all across Ireland, Northern Ireland, UK, Iceland and New Zealand. Um, so that's Belmac. I have heard them. I have seen them. I've seen a lot of their equipment around. Uh, a very popular company again um started in the 1980s uh so that is belmac next up at number six is a and w carlo now this is a company that um i you know have seen a lot of their a lot of their equipment so they make heavy duty trailers um an old school uh, school uh, friend of mine uh, Gordon Spillane he is one of the distributors in Ireland for them or the dealers if you like um, Agri Machinery Ireland I know they export a lot of these trailers um, to New Zealand and places so shout out to Gordon um, so this company was set up by Adam Nikolovitz and Valdemir Farafanto so two good Irish names there so yeah they make 25 foot long bale trailers low loaders uh, cattle trailers um, body attached with a twist lock mechanism so th they have this particular trailer that it can be used as a cattle trailer with the body attached um with a twi twist lock mechanism it can be used as the 25 foot long bale trailer or it can be used as a low loader so with the one chassis you get three different options with the same trailer so that's a very novel idea um now i don't know how many of them they've sold but it is a very novel idea it's a good looking trailer um yeah it's, it's a clever system so that when the cattle trailer part of it sits onto it locks in with a twist lock mechanism to fix it onto the body like you would with a with a 20 foot container onto the chassis of a trailer um so then you have your your dump trailers after that um a four axle low loader, fantastic looking four axle low loader this is a, a serious looking machine um after that then silas trailers uh, grain trailer and i think they have a beat washer as well so yeah that's a and w um engineering in carlo um so check them out yeah that they don't have a whole lot on the website they have a website but there's not a whole lot on they're hard enough company to uh investigate about you know to do the research on but if you look up on their facebook page um yeah the trailers are top notch they look like really really well built trailers um uh, moving on then um we are heading back up north up to county tyrone and a uh, very very popular company um uh, nugent so most people would be well familiar with nugent they have a huge range of uh of equipment um very very popular with their um 
with our car trailers or our cattle trailers. Uh, so there's a wide, wide range uh, for livestock, um, general general purpose trailers, tilt bed trailers, flatbed trailers, teppers, plants, horse boxes, you name it. Uh, Nugent trailers make it um, very, very popular company. On the machinery end of things then, you'd have you know your bale feeders, bale handlers, um, yard scrapers, crushes, link boxes, uh, muck sp- small muck spreaders, lovely tiny little mini muck spreader, uh, grass toppers. Um, they also have a coach works part of the business as well. So, um, you know, for industrial applications and stuff like that. So definitely a uh, Nugent well worth checking out. Um, yeah, very, very popular company in Ireland and a uh, new one that definitely couldn't be left out. So moving down to number four and we will head to Tipperary, a very, very popular company, um, Rossmore Engineering in Cashel in County Tip. Uh, so Rossmore Engineering was founded in 1980. Uh, they operate out of a 6,600 square meter facility uh, for the domestic and industrial market and it was set up by Mr. William J. Carroll. Um, now William J. Carroll uh, also he operated previously as William J. Carroll Limited Machi- Machinery Sales. Um, now that company still operates, um, but he went from there into the obviously into the manufacture of the machines as well. So yeah, he's in the business a long, long time. So Rossmore, I believe they are the only manufacturer of front loaders in Ireland. So maybe somebody can, you know. Uh, correct me on that, but I believe I can't think of any other um, any other manufacturer front loaders for tractors in Ireland, uh, Rossmore. So they also make the loaders, they make the loader attachments, shear grabs, lifting equipment, bale handling equipment, um, you know, your buckets, snow plows, all that kind of stuff, attachments for your loader. Um, they also make uh, vacuum tankers, agitators, conditioners uh, for straw and hay and stuff, which no doubt will be needed this summer um, or winter, whatever. <laughs> So they also make uh, hoists for fertilizer bags and they also make creep feeders um, for your cattle and stuff. So that is Rossmore Engineering in County Tip. So moving on then to number three and we are going to County Limerick. Yeah, County Limerick and Caltech in Kilmallock in County Limerick, which is a company that was set up in the mid 1980s. A uh, big employer down in County Limerick. So they make um, bale slices, uh, bale chasers. Uh, um, they have a combi cut then for pit and bale silage, <coughs> shear grabs, uh, soft hands for wrapped silage, uh, bale handlers, dribble bars, bag fill buckets, post drivers, tree shears, automatic scrapers, and they also do a range of uh, farm buildings as well. So I don't know, do they come in a kit form, whether you just buy the kit to a specific size? I don't know whether they make um bespoke one-off type sheds but they do make uh, farm buildings as well so that's caltech and not too far from me down here in uh i'm in galway so down in county limerick not too far from me quick trip down the uh the motorway <clears throat> so that is caltech so moving on to the last two on the list and i wonder can anybody guess what county we're going to next um and who we're going to be dealing with so number two on the list we are in county mayo again um County Mayo is a hotbed for farm machinery manufacturing, um, as is Carlo, uh, Carlo and Mayo. They, like I could have done a video with 10 companies from Mayo and 10 companies from Carlo alone, whatever it is about those geographical areas. Um, it's the, the amount of engineering uh, that goes on in them is incredible. You know, I spoke about uh, McHale before and Malone Engineering and a few others uh, from Mayo, but this one we're going to is Cashels. So Cashels in County Mayo was established in 1985 and Cashels ranges could be broken up into two two different distinct ranges. So the first one is uh, their bale handling range. Uh, so you have, you know, bale cutters, bale and film cutters, uh, you have meal bucket attachment then, uh, you've got your handlers then, uh, your duck foot type handlers, pick and stack handlers, uh, vary with bale spikes, tipping handlers, uh, bale grabs, and then on top of that, they have a full range of double handlers as well um, for obviously for your bales and stuff. Uh, bale wrap carriers then as well. Um, so for your, you know, your silage outfits for for your um, if you're out wrapping with your with your with your McHale wrapper or whatever um, and you want to carry your, your wrap on the front of the tractor or whatever, uh, bale wrap carriers as well. Uh, they make a wide range of them. 
So they also then make um, fuel browsers. So you have your, your standard single and bonded fuel browser, uh, your combi then with your add blue as well, your bonded fuel cube, uh, static transportable browsers, um, and you can live with a forklift on and off a trailer, uh, petroleum browsers then as well. They also have a bonded lubricant trailer, uh, mobile power washer, um, what else? Bucket grabs, um, power cranes, fork grabs, the uh, four wheel chassis for the fusion, uh, for the McHale fusion. Uh, they make that four wheel chassis for the fusion. Um, and the drop side trailers then as well, and tipping trailers, a uh, few bits and pieces like that. Um, yeah, fantastic company, Cashels in County Mayo. Um, Moving on then to the very last one on the list is so number one on this top 10 list again is from Mayo. Now I know Mikhail were number one the last one, but obviously Mikhail were you know the number one because they are the largest manufacturer. Major equipment in County Mayo are number one on this top 10. Um, no, I'm not biased at all towards Mayo, I'm a mead man, <laughs> I live in Galway, um, but uh, I'm not biased towards Mayo. But yeah, Major, a fantastic company, huge company. Um, a lot of people were disappointed that I didn't in, include uh, Major the last time, not naming anybody in particular. Um, so uh, Major, of course, are award-winning manufacturer of ag agri products, and they distribute to 30 countries worldwide. They were established in 1986, and they are family-owned and ran. So what have they got? Uh, Center-mounted topper, cyclone mowers, flex-wing toppers, head cutters, mulchers, verge mowers, side mounted and trail toppers so they also have a wide range of ground care um mowers for football pitches and golf courses stuff like that uh, a lot of us used in schools and places like that uh, for doing football pitches um they also would have a full range of tankers for various agri and industrial applications so like dust suppression and stuff like that and building sites uh, and hydro seeding of course as well um a full range of tankers for different applications there uh, they also have their tankers, their slurry tankers, of course, um, with a uh, full range of slurry tankers with disc injectors, dribble bars, agitators, trailing shoes, obviously your tandem tankers then as well. Um, and one of the last products on the list that they make is a swinging saw bench, very novel looking swinging saw bench um, for cutting logs and stuff like that. So that is major and that is number one on the list for this top 10. So yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. Um, the last video I done uh, on Made in Ireland got 40,000 views. Um, so I am hoping this one does at least the same. Uh, so thanks a million for watching. Yeah, there's actually, there's no reason in the world whatsoever that Ireland uh, has to import many pieces of farm machinery equipment. Obviously, we don't make too much tillage stuff, but when it comes to the grass, the silage, the dairy, uh, the cattle, um, the livestock, everything that we need should be bought here in Ireland. Uh, that's my belief. Um, everything should be bought in Ireland. If it's built in Ireland, it should be bought in Ireland because we are world leaders at building farm machinery equipment, um, especially for the, the cattle end of things, the grass end of things. Uh, We'll never run short of slurry tankers, and that is for sure, or bale handlers. Uh, we could do maybe a company uh, that makes maybe some more tillage equipment, uh, grubbers and plows and maybe bits and pieces like that. Um, my own son, Evan, now he's finishing up in college. He's doing his, uh, his engineering uh, project at the minute, and he's making a three meter wide um, uh, cultivator. So yeah, I'm interested to see how that turns out. It's gonna be bespoke made um by himself engineered designed and built welded painted uh, uh by himself so we look forward to seeing that um so that's it yeah that's it for uh for the for the video lads thanks a million for watching and i will see you all next sunday